Hello, my name is Patrick Morris and I am a Senior Applications and Development Engineer at Sputtering Components. And today I'm going to go over the Swing Duo software package that we created specifically for use with our Swing Cathode hardware. So once you log into the website, which is uh, swingduo.sputteringcomponents.com, um, you'll be able to enter your username and password that uh, will be provided to you by SCI, and then you hit log in. And the first page that it brings you up to is going to be for entering all of the uh, parameters of the simulation. The first parameter that we come up to is magnet bar type. We have TRM, MQRM, and QRM. For this application, I'm going to do MQRM to begin with. Next is degrees per step, so this is going to be the resolution of the test. And right now we have 10 is the default, but there's also 5 degrees, 2, 1, and half degree per step that you can simulate. So we're going to go with 10 for now. Next, the number of cathodes. We're going to use four cathodes for this simulation. And we're going to use a standard target material outer diameter of 152 millimeters. Next, uh, on the right hand side over here, we have the target to substrate distance, which is 100 millimeters. The substrate width, which is uh, in this one, we're going to do 1,000. And then the cathode spacing, this is the distance from center to center on the cathodes, where you're going to do 300. And if you need help with any of these uh, measurements, um, the question mark on the right hand side will bring up a diagram showing the cathode spacing from center to center. The target diameter is the outermost diameter of the material, and the target to substrate distance along with the substrate width. So we're going to go ahead and run the simulation. And you hit run simulation and it comes up showing that it is running and then you'll see a change in the, or in the minimized value. This number will continue to decrease until the problem has been solved for. So here we go. Here's our solution. Now this graph shows us uh, in purple uh, the sum of all of the deposition profiles added together and then each one for cathode 1 through cathode 4 of the individual deposition profiles. Um, these black lines here represent the edge of the substrate so whatever substrate width you put in they will uh, represent the edge and so you can see that that's right at 500 and negative 500 for a thousand millimeter wide substrate. Um, this one came up with uh, plus or minus um, 0.9% uniformity across the center region. So that's better than plus or minus 1% all the way across here. Um, we have 12.7% of the sputter wastage to neighboring cathodes. So this is cathode to cathode sputtering of 12.7%. The next statistic is a 21.6% of sputter wastage outside the center region but visible in the profile. So that means that if the substrate was to extend out to infinity, the material that is being wasted at 21.6% would land on it outside of our 1000 millimeter deposition zone. And then we have 9.3% of the sputter wastage outside or away from the substrate, not visible in the pattern. So that is material that is being going to be deposited either parallel or above parallel of the, the substrate, so anything that would end up on the chamber but not end up on the, um, on the other targets. So for this one, it's not very high in the, in the uh, um, efficiency for our sputter material, but it's 43.6% uh, total sputter wastage. So a little bit more than 50% of the material that is being sputtered is actually landing on the substrate. Um, and you got to remember that this is just in a 2D plane along the cathodes that this is being simulated for. So next thing that we have is our cathode configuration. So if we click on that, it'll show us all of the uh, settings that we have for uh, in our simulation. And then for each one of the cathodes, it'll give us the angle and the amount of time spent at that angle. So this is in percentage of, a, um, basically percentage of 100%. And so you can see that for each one of the cathodes, and since we did 10 degrees per step, you can see that 60, 50, negative 60, negative 50, negative 40, negative 30, and so on, all the way to 60 degrees. So if we go back to our plot, the next thing that we have is simulation output. So if you uh, click that, you'll download a CSV file, and that CSV file contains 
each one of these profile curves. And so you can have all that data in Excel and analyze it yourself. And then the next thing that we have is a graphical representation of the actual sputter process. Um, each one of these purple uh, um, parts here shows the amount of time and the angle at which we are sputtering. And <clears throat> so that gives you a good idea of uh, the uh, profile that would be running on, on that particular system. So the next thing that I'd like to show you here is the ability to actually go in, run this process on your system, and then measure the substrate, and then enter the uniformity data back into the software, and then have it solved to correct for any uniformity problems. So I have something already saved here that I'll just input in. So what it is is you, you measure at specific distances, uh, actually any distance you want, and the, the distance between each one of the units doesn't matter. You just have to put in the location of the measurement and then a relative figure um, from 0 to 1 of the thickness. So we're going to do a, um, 0 0.95, 1, um, 0 0.96, 0 0.98, 0 0.96. Um, all the way across, so this would be a plus or minus um, two and a half percent uniformity to begin with. And so we'll run the simulation. And solving for a non uniformity um, takes a little bit longer, but not much longer. So we'll wait for that for just a second here. and this will continue to go down until it actually solves for it. At any time you can also hit cancel operation and it will give you the value that it's calculated out to so far. Um, this can be really handy for extremely large simulations of many cathodes in which the simulation could take um, um, 30 minutes or, or even more um, and you just want to get a quick answer you can hit cancel and see the, the rough calculation that has not been 100% refined yet. So it looks like we're almost about done. All right, there's our results. So you can see the sum of the initial um, that we had, which was, uh, this is the uniformity that I kind of put in there, um, overlaid with, uh, with our initial one. So it, it kind of just corrected for it. Um, and then this is our corrected uniformity, which is in purple again. So the sum, the, the sum was our previous uniformity in, in uh, kind of this uh, goldish color. And then again, all of our individual cathodes. And uh, so here's my uniformity, went from plus or minus 2% to plus or minus 1.01%. Um, a little bit less in the way of sputter wastage. And then you can see also here that these profiles did change again. So you can continue to iterate on that. You can, you can keep putting in your, your uniformity data and use this tool to really tune in your process after you've already used it to come up with the um, hardware configuration that sh should be useful for your process to begin with. All right, well, that's my presentation for today. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, goodbye.